everybody! Today's video is going to be a room tour of my final year room at the University of Cambridge. This is my room! So for context, if you've never seen me before, hi I'm Taya. I'm in my fourth and final year of my languages degree and I go to Gomelin Keys College which is one of the oldest Cambridge colleges. I think it was funded in 1348 and this year I'm actually living in like the oldest part of college as well so this room is very very old and as such it has its own little quirks here and there like the fact that my bathroom sink is not in my ensuite bathroom, it's in my bedroom room um, we'll get we'll get to that but I'm really happy with the room that I got assigned this year um, I actually I did get assigned this room for disability reasons so it's not necessarily representative of like a standard room at Gomelin Keys College but it is my room for this year and I think you can actually get this room without a disability access as well like if it's available so I think a lot of the other rooms at college tend to be a lot smaller it's quite a large room and I also have my own ensuite bathroom which is very nice also not very common with like second and third year accommodation at this college it's also a set which means that I have a separate living room and bedroom area um, my bed is separated by a door which is very nice in terms of separation of space and not feeling and I can live out of one box. So without any further ado, let's get started with the room tour. So starting from the kind of door area, this is what you see when you first walk in. Uh, I have some coats and stuff like that just hanging on the door. Um, I've got my fluffy hat and my fluffy scarf. It do be cold here in Cambridge this time of year, so I've come prepared. Here I just have some more coats. I have, I used the hood of this coat, it's kind of like a bucket to keep my um, gloves and my fleece headband. Um, they fit quite nicely in there. Then just along the bottom there, I just have a couple of my shoes that I tend to normally use in the winter time and I also have this Chinese zodiac signs just on here which I think I got for Christmas one year. This door is basically just a cupboard um, which I can't open. There we go. It's just where cleaning supplies are kept. At Cambridge our rooms get cleaned about once a week so the bedder, we call them bedders, just keeps all her cleaning supplies in here. I don't really use this cupboard at all but it's quite cool because it has all these little, it has all these little like markings along the top from previous students who have lived in this room. So we have like 1976 on there, 1953, 2012. So it really just gives you an idea of how old this room is, the fact that like students have been living here for a while. Um, I just think it's quite cool. And then if you move over from my door, next up we have my bookshelf. This is a very standard size bookshelf, which I don't actually use to store that many books. I have some books along the bottom, just mixture of library books and books that I myself own. So I actually really like this shelving unit. I've tried to decorate it as best as I can. And above it, I've just got this string of art prints. They're actually different wizarding schools from the Harry Potter universe, which I got from an independent artist on Etsy. Um, we don't support JK Rowling in this household, so I have no official Harry Potter merchandise anymore, but I thought this was really cute, so she's here. And as you can see, I just have various clutter. This is Sander. He is a very dramatic plant. He will wilt the second he needs water, and he'll look really dramatic and sad, and then the second he gets water, he perks up again. He's a very dramatic boy, but... I love him. And then I just have some pictures. I have my little going out station, so hand sanitizer, as well as just some hand cream because my hands get really, really dry from all the hand sanitizers. And then under here, I've got this hat. I have a picture of my cat. Because why not? And then down here, we have more just general storage, a reusable shopping bag. And then along the bottom, we have my book part of my bookshelf. Then if we move around, this is my living room area. I'm really lucky this year in that my room is actually big enough that I can split it into defined sections. So I have like my working area with my desk and then I have this little area of my room that just has like easy chairs and my TV. 
because I'm that extra that I brought TV to uni. So first of all we have these two easy chairs that came with the room that I've just kind of thrown throw a blanket over. I have this pillow that I got from Ikea and then I've got this little buddy. I think I've decided on a name for her. I think I'm gonna name her Millie. I got her from um, Miniso, this new like Japanese store which is just opened up in Cambridge and she just, she looked at me and she was so cute. I couldn't resist. And then next to this chair, I've just got my radiator. Fun fact, my room doesn't actually have any central heating because once again, it's a very old room. This radiator just provides me with heat so I don't die. And then here I've just got my grandma basket where I have crocheting supplies, some Donald Duck magazines as well. In different languages, we've got Italian, and Norwegian and I've got an extension cord and then over on this side we have Phyllis she's doing great actually she was kind of drooping a little bit but then I watered her which surprise surprise made her come back to life so she's my my Calethea plant um, she closes at night and it's really really cute and then next to her we've just got this basket of blankets which I also sometimes use as a footstool it's multifunctional so that's good so along here on my mantelpiece, I've just got a bunch of different stuff going on. We've got a picture of me and my grandma when I was younger. We've got two musicals posters because I am a nerd and I have two of them. I have a Wicked poster and a Hamilton poster and we've got this little bear sitting in between. We've got this little bubble hat on. Look at him. Some more figurines. These are from Loki. My automatic candle. She's not a real candle, don't worry, don't report me. Um, she is fake, but she does turn on at, I think, like 4 p.m. So she's quite nice to have on my mantelpiece. Over here, we've also got one of my other plants. This is Cecilia. She is very, very pretty and also very easy to take care of. So I do appreciate her a lot. So on the walls here, I've just got this collage thing that I bought in my second year. I call it my friendship wall because it's got some really cool people on it. So I really like it. And then next to it, I've just got this hanging, I think it's macrame, got it off Etsy again. And then on this wall, I've just got some more framed pictures. I really like having framed pictures in my room because it gives it the feel of being like a proper living room in like a real house one day. And of course, my cat. There are several pictures of my cat throughout this room and no, I'm not sorry about it. Along here, we have just some coasters. Don't ask me why. They're dogs, they're cute. I thought they were cute. Here we have a bowl of Kiwis. And this is the remote to my fairy lights that you can see. They actually change colour. So we have the normal standard warm white. But then if you want to make it really funky, we've got multicoloured, very Christmassy. But then we've got slightly more subdued multicoloured, more pastel like. And if you want to get even more pastel, we have this setting, which is I think my favourite setting because it's just, it's it's a hint of multicolour but it's not like intense and so I love this one quite a lot. These lights are lovely, they're also connected to the main so I don't have to worry about batteries and they were only like £15 I think so I would recommend, I'll see if I can find them and link them below if you want to get the same ones. That's pretty much my living area. I've also got this really cute rug, adds a lot to the room I think, makes it brighter and more cosy. My friend also really likes to just like lie on this rug whenever she's over, so it's multifunctional. And next up we have my desk area. It was quite important to me to kind of make my desk somewhere that I wanted to work, so I put quite a lot of effort into the decor and stuff like that around it, and I think it turned out pretty well. We start in the corner, we've just got this sketches bag. Um, not really sure why I have this hanging here, but it's here. Then I have my cat calendar, which honestly, it's very relatable. I too feel like screaming a lot of the time. And then along the wall, you can see I have these string lights, which I actually got in Germany. They fit very well above my desk. On my desk itself, I have my laptop and more funky coasters. We've got one that says punch today in the face. And then we've got one that says love who you are right now. It's the salamander of self-worth. And then here I've got my cactus. She's, she's a cactus. I don't actually know if I have a name for her. Interesting. If you want to name my cactus, let me know in the comments down below and I'll pick the best name. And then we have my desk lamp. 
We've got this like cute hell no sign because that also tends to be my mood quite a lot when I'm working. And then here I have my portable pencil case, uh, which also doubles as a pen holder. Very convenient. And then I have a pin board behind there just with some memorabilia from this term, some pictures from my year abroad. And this little cat figurine, theater tickets, my dissertation because I have to prove to myself that I actually did that. And then in terms of wall decor, I've got my Lintron poster and a collage that I made out of various art prints that I found on Etsy and Pinterest. I'm really happy with this collage actually, I think it turned out really well. Next to my desk, I have another electric heater because I do be cold. And then along the bottom here I have a little mirror because I basically didn't know what else to do with it so I just kind of stuck it here. Another extension cord with a bunch of cords attached to it. I just kind of hide it and pretend it doesn't exist. And then if we turn from my desk that door just leads into the kitchen. Then I have this jasmine dragon print that I also got from Etsy. And here we have my kettlebell, which tends to just function as a doorstop, to be honest. Um, I don't really use it that much, but she's useful. And then here we have one of my two windows. I've got some starlights just kind of trailing across the top here. And on my windowsill, I just got two of my little succulent plants in these little pots that my friend got me for Christmas one year. Then I've got another plant, some more pictures, my beautiful view. You can see part of King's Chapel just over there. And yeah, sometimes I do just have to pinch myself as to where I'm actually living because it's so pretty. And then moving on from my first window, here we have a mirror. Hello! This is a standing mirror that I got from Ikea and actually assembled myself. I was very proud of myself for doing that. And then if you move on from there, we have my dining table. This is essentially my dining room table. This is the first university room I've ever had that actually had like a dining room table in the room. I'm very fortunate. It's quite nice because it means I don't have to eat my food at my desk. Above here I just have a collage of my year abroad prints and some different ticket stubs. Stuff like that. I call this like my year abroad wall. Fun fact about this poster actually, I got it for free from a restaurant at Heathrow Airport. The waiter was just like, hang on to me and my sister and got us a free poster each. Kind of got this like artsy version of a world map. And then along here, I've got this table runner, which actually fun fact, I got this from Ikea thinking it was a placemat and then I unraveled it and it was a lot longer than I expected. So. It's a table runner. And here I've got my chair. So this chair is too low for the dining room table. And so I've just cushioned it with cushions. And then under my table, I've just got a mini fridge, which I just store snacks and random stuff on top of. Then here is my second little window alcove. If we go in, we have a poster on this wall here, which is a play that I did in my second year, first time I did theatre at Cambridge. And all of these doors that you can see here as well are actually storage. Um, this room has an insane amount of storage. So in here, I just have some suitcases, stuff like that. I also have spare heaters. It's quite convenient. And then if you turn away from that window, we have my bedroom door. So this is the door to my bedroom. On the door, I just have these little prints that I got off Etsy. They're like air balloons. As you can see, I originally stuck them up with brown tape, but then I got told that I can't actually use brown tape to stick anything up in my room anymore. So what I've done is I've kind of taped the back of them as well, so they're not actually stuck up to the wall with the brown tape, and then I just used command strips to attach the actual pictures to the wall. So I'm not breaking any rules and anything for the aesthetic. And then here I just have this cute little dream catcher that I actually got in Germany. I think I got it on sale for like two euros or something like that. So this is my bedroom. First when you walk in you've got this chest of drawers. It's a very good chest of drawers. We've got another one of these table runners that I thought were placemats. The starlight's actually coming in all the way from the living room going above and basically around my entire bedroom. 
And then I have this beautiful window, um, again with the kind of old fashioned aesthetic, I just really love it. And also like the curtains aren't that bad for college provided curtains, like I think these are pretty good. This is my view from my bedroom window. And behind my chest of drawers I've just got my clothes area and then I've got my bedside table and my journal. I do keep a daily journal and I've done this for almost three years at this point so that just kind of chills on the side of my bed. And then we have my bed. So on my bed I've just got this very basic bedding that I think is from Ikea. Um, I've had it for years and it's just the old standard duvet cover and set and then I've got this stuffed animal that I've had since I was maybe like 10 and I've got this array of cushions this make a wish cushion that I once again got in Germany last year we've got my ARPA plushie normally I have like a throw blanket or something on here but not at the moment for some reason I feel like I need to collect more throw blankets even though I have like a basket of them um, you can never have too many throw blankets that's a life lesson. This is my big wardrobe. It has all of my clothes in it, surprisingly. I know, shocking the fact that a wardrobe would contain clothes, but I have all my hanging stuff in here, random stuff along the bottom, like shoes and stuff, and my laundry basket. I must just like stick stuff in here that I don't want to see, so it's essentially storage along with also posting all my clothes. Here I also have my undergraduate gown which I never really get to wear anymore because since Covid I haven't really been to a formal which is normally where you'd wear this so it's quite sad. I used to wear it a lot in my first year but since then she's not been worn. And then the very final part of my room is my sink area so my sink is actually separate from my bathroom which is around and on and through there and um, doesn't have a sink the sink is in the bedroom for god knows what reason i just have some shelves with basic bathroom stuff and a mirror and the mirror has a light it's very convenient and yeah that's pretty much it for my bedroom and then last but not least if we go out through this door and down upstairs we have my bathroom. So my bathroom is pretty odd in the sense that it only has a bathtub to which I've attached this shower attachment. And I just have my various shower things along here. We have this window which does look over into other people's rooms. Not necessarily ideal for a bathroom, but we then have a fake plant that I've put in here, a toilet, I've just got my towels hanging on this little sliding door to my bathroom and that's pretty much it. So that is pretty much what my room looks like. Once again I'm so grateful that I got such a nice room for my last year at Cambridge. It does make such a difference but I think part of it is also just what you do with the room that you get. I always find that fairy lights add a lot to a room um, and make it a lot cosier but Anyway, that being said, thank you so much for watching this video, I really really hope you enjoyed it and feel free to subscribe and stick around if you want to, I'm going to be posting more Cambridge related content in the near future when I have less work to do and more time to dedicate to actually editing videos. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!